as 2020 board exams are approaching here we are with a quick video on how you can ace your class 12th chemistry board exams 2020 a lot of you might be anxious hearing the news of change in question paper format as well as change in syllabus so let's take a sneak peek into the new question paper format and also few special tips that will help you to crack your exams so this is how the syllabus for class 12th chemistry looks like however for class 12 the 2020 board exams there is a slight change in the syllabus for example the lesson solid state has been removed from the syllabus so you do not need to study solid state anymore besides that in p block elements uh, you are only supposed to study group 16 17 and 18 group 15 has been skipped besides that there is no major change in the syllabus so everything else remains the same uh, we will now take a look at the sample question paper so basically this is a sample question paper format that has been released on the official site of cbse so we see that the total marks is 70 30 marks being reserved for chemistry practicals the question paper consists of four sections section a b c and d so let us quickly look at each of these sections so we'll start with section a so in section a you will have 20 questions of one mark each now uh, what all can you expect in these 20 questions so you can expect mcqs that are multiple choice questions you can also expect passage reading questions so what are these passage reading questions so you will be given a passage uh, which could be a scenario basically and then there will be five questions which which will be based on that scenario or the passage which is given there so you can expect that besides that you can expect one word or one liner questions wherein the answer has to be given in one word or one sentence so you can expect them and you can also expect assertion reasoning questions now a lot of you might be curious to know what are these assertion reasoning questions so this is how they look like so if you look at this question number 16 to 20 they are all assertion reasoning questions so in these questions you will be given two statements the first statement is the assertion the second statement is the reason and then you have four options like the options go like this both the statements are correct the reason statement is the correct explanation of the assertion both the statements are correct but the reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion assertion is correct that is the first statement is correct but the second statement is not correct the first statement is not correct but the second statement is correct so basically you will be given two statements in all the questions and you will have to say which option is correct as in either both the statements are correct or one is correct one is incorrect or how is it like so they are basically assertion and reasoning questions okay now let's move on to section b so in section b you have uh, seven questions of two marks each now in this section you can expect questions which are based on uh, reactions like not very lengthy questions of course because they just carry two marks you can also expect formula based numericals now these in terms of numericals they would be uh, direct formula based questions and you can also expect some questions based on the structures like you may be asked to draw a structure for a particular compound or maybe a structure is given and then you are asked a question related to that structure so you can expect these kind of questions in section b moving on to section c where you will again have seven questions but these questions will be of three marks each so obviously here the answers are going to be lengthier so here you can actually expect proper numericals from phys physical chemistry uh, from organic chemistry you can expect reaction based questions uh, you can also expect some definitions difference between kind of questions uh, here in this section c and finally the last section that is section d where you will have only three questions but each of these questions will carry five marks so these are like the long answer questions however in this particular section you have lot of options for example if you see every in most of the questions you get an or so you get to choose from two questions and you can answer one of these so the options are available in section d uh, in section D, the questions generally have sub parts as in if you look at the question, uh, it could be a numerical problem. If it is a numerical, it might have two, three parts like A, B, C and so on. 
uh, it could also be some reaction mechanisms because some of the reaction mechanisms are really lengthy so you can expect those mechanisms in this section uh, you can also get a lot of concept based questions especially from physical chemistry and inorganic chemistry so section d is more about um, long answers and therefore most of the time you get question with subparts like for example if you look at uh, this question number 37 so you see it has two parts a and b and again in b also you have like you know different questions different sub parts within that so since it is uh, it carries five marks so many a times for that five marks you have maybe three or four small small questions inside one question right so that's how the sample question paper format looks like now few tips that i would want you to remember while you are preparing for your class 12th chemistry board exams 2020 Cover NCRT topics thoroughly. Now, that's very important. So, NCRT is like your Bible and do not skip anything that is given in NCRT. Cover the complete syllabus. Do not skip lessons or topics because uh, the way the question paper format has been designed now, these uh, one mark question, you actually have 21 mark questions. These one mark questions can be picked up from anywhere. So, it is better that you kind of complete the syllabus. It's not that you just study two lessons and you feel that, you know, I know two lessons really well and i'll be able to do it well so not like that uh, kind of cover the complete syllabus practice numerical problems that's important because in chemistry you know your most of the paper is like numerical based and reaction based so they are like very important understand reactions do not memorize them now that's truly important because if you start memorizing chemical reactions you may be in a fix when you are asked about a reaction mechanism so therefore it's important to understand them most importantly solve sample papers that's very important and needless to say because when you solve sample papers you get a real-time experience of your exam it builds your confidence it helps you to revise the entire syllabus so please please solve as many sample papers as you can the length of an answer should be in accordance with the weightage of marks because as i told you that if a question is asked in section b that means the answer has to be in accordance with a two mark answer. You should not write pages after pages. But if a similar question has been asked in section D, you are expected to give a detailed answer because now your answer carries five marks. So always keep in mind the weightage of marks for that particular question and accordingly write your answer. Last but not the least, write neatly so that the person who's uh, examines your paper is able to read properly whatever you have written so all that we understand is you need to revise well all that you learned and need to solve a lot of sample papers to build up your confidence in fact by first week of december we at examfear.com are going to launch a package on sample papers so feel free to take a look at that i hope you found the video useful see you all very soon with a new video thank you